What's up chicas? Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be about my foundation routine. So you guys have asked me how um, I do my foundation, how I make it stay all day, and um, how do I make it stay in a Florida heat? Because y'all know I live in Florida and the heat here is a no joke. So you guys wanted to see what were my steps and also I wanted to sort of like incorporate a foundation 101 so as I go and I show you how I do my full coverage foundation routine to like last all day I'm also gonna give you guys some tips and pointers of how to achieve this look because I have a lot of beginners who want to learn about how to apply foundation and all of that so today's video I'm going to merge those two into one so if you're a beginner and you're trying to learn how to apply foundation flawlessly um the steps the things you need because some people just jump into foundation and no 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 no, don't do that <laughs> do not jump into foundation alone <laughs> so if you are either a beginner that wants to learn how to apply the correct way foundation or you just want to learn how to achieve a full coverage all day wear foundation then before you go there's a big red button button there's a big red button right at the bottom part of this screen you see it yeah you do let's go ahead and hit it and subscribe to my channel let's go ahead and move on to this tutorial all right now that we are all settled in and you're ready to look at this video watch this video and you're already and you're already subscribed to my channel then we can go ahead and proceed so first thing is first guys i cannot stress that enough you need to prep your skin i say this all the time prep 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 your skin friends how do i prep my skin using a moisturizer i always always start by prepping my skin by moisturizing my skin you either have oily skin dry skin combination you find a moisturizer that really really works for you for me honestly speaking i've only used it cosmetics moisturizers because they are just bomb um i can't remember any other moisturizer that i've tried before the makeup that doesn't make my makeup too cakey or too heavy because you have to find a lightweight moisturizer that is very important to find a lightweight moisturizer the one that i've been obsessed with is the secret sauce from it cosmetics it comes in this little jar just like that and literally it has secret ingredients here that i absolutely absolutely love so it is a very lightweight cons um moisturizer so i like to apply a generous amount of it on my skin my skin is is a dry skin don't think that because your dry skin your skin is oily and you apply moisturizer it's going to make it more oily if you find a moisturizer that works for your skin then that's great so we're just gonna go ahead and massage this to in, in our skin good massage because we want our skin to absorb all the ingredients so we're just gonna let that sit in there before we apply it to everything else just pretty much you can just let it sit for a minute all right so after you apply moisturizer comes the primer guys primer is really 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 important too primer is that shield that is going to help your skin like if you have pores um if you get like a pore um minimizing primer it's going to help you minimize the appearance of your pores so the foundation does not sit inside of pores and then you can see the pores um it helps the fine lines so if you have fine lines and wrinkles it kind of like um fills them in so think of a primer as a veal a veal that you're putting over your skin that when you put the foundation your foundation is just going to sit on top of that and it's going to be perfect so we have to smooth out our skin so i always always highly recommend a pore minimizing or pore feeling something that it's going to help fill in your pores and of course your fine lines because we don't want anything to sit in it so i have been obsessed guys obsessed with the covergirl true blend um pore minimizing primer this is what it looks like i have been truly obsessed with this primer and it's a drugstore primer so yay for that so i, I like to apply my primer um with a brush because I don't want to keep the primer from like adhering to my skin. 
I feel like if I apply with my fingers, I'm taking most of the product onto my fingers and not on my skin. So I like to apply it with a foundation, with a dual fiber brush. And this is a, just a dual fiber powder brush that I have. You can use um, a brush if you like. This is like a trick that I've done lately and I've seen a huge difference. So I like to apply that first. Normally, where like my pores are, are like, like, oh, I'm here. Okay guys, now after this, most people, some people color correct if they have acne, they have acne scars, um, like if you have a lot of redness on your skin, a lot of people go in and color correct. You can definitely color correct if you like. Um, if you have a lot of redness, you can do green to um, kill all the redness. Um, uh, if you have like dull skin, like you're just there, like really dark skin, um, not, not that you're dark skin complexion, but like you just have like very dark spots. You can use a purple um, concealer to kind of liven it up. Um, you can also color correct your under eyes with salmon. All right, so after primer, I go ahead and jump onto foundation. Now, this is where it gets really tricky. You have to find a foundation that works for your skin. Like I said, I'm dry. Um, but matte foundations kind of do work for me and I feel like matte foundations are great when it comes to full coverage foundation I don't know. I just feel like matte foundations have way more coverage than any dewy Complexion like any dewy foundation. That's just what I feel. So I'm using drugstore guys I am obsessed with these two. I love mixing foundations because I love the formula of one with the other one It just creates the perfect foundation for me. I think I would create a foundation. Like I'm obsessed with foundations. Okay, so I'm mixing the Superstay uh, full coverage. They're both full coverage. I'm, mix I'm mixing the Superstay Maybelline foundation, which looks just like this. And then I'm going to go ahead and mix it with the True Blend Matte Made Foundation by CoverGirl. So if you want to achieve a full coverage, you have to look for foundations that are full coverage. These is uh, Superstay's full coverage, the CoverGirl's full coverage. I first go in and apply dabs of the foundation onto my skin, onto my face. I don't do it directly onto the beauty blender or any brush. I do it directly to my face. Oh, here you are, face to face in this trashy bar. Another glass and I am going places Makes me laugh about the irony of everything Alright, now this tool right here is what's gonna get you a full face, flawless look This tool right here, the Beauty Blender The Beauty Blender is called like that, the actual Beauty Blender it's, They sell it at Sephora for 20 bucks You can buy it it works amazing. You're not gonna waste your money. Now, if you're looking for a cheap alternative, you can um, go to Ulta or Walmart. The Real Techniques. It's an orange one. It's amazing, also, and it's like six bucks. So, but this here, guys, is gonna be your best friend. This little thing. You're gonna you're gonna run it under the faucet, and you're just gonna let water soak in, and then just kind of like squeeze the excess water, and then you just use it damp. I like the way you're thinking I don't really care about the music on the dance floor I don't really mind all the smoke is in the bathroom I don't care at all, baby, you got my attention so Alright, so there we go, guys. Look how full coverage that looks. I'm telling you, it's not a big deal. It's not something that it's like, oh my god, Francis, I don't know how to do it. Yes, you can do it. Yes, you can. If you take the time, you can actually achieve it. Foundation is key. So I highly recommend full coverage foundation, everything. Okay, so after the foundation is put into place, I jump into concealer. So two of my top favorite concealers at the moment has to be the Shape Tape Tarte, the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer, which is this one right here, and the one that I'm using at the moment, which is the Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. It is a bomb. It helps you conceal, it helps you contour, and it definitely helps you highlight. So. I go for a concealer that is going to cover, but at the same time, it's gonna highlight. So, it says it. 
I highly recommend this one. I think this one runs for $28, but it's a huge bottle and it's super, super, super full coverage and a little bit goes a long way. Don't put this here, here, and here, and here. That's it. No, you because we want to, as well as hide our dark circles, we want to conceal it and we want to highlight it. So we're just gonna highlight the high points of our face. And what I like to do is I like to come on the side of my nose up until like that opening and from there I just like to bring it up a tiny tiny um what do you call it um triangle see and then I like to come on the center of my nose a little bit on my forehead right here the high points of the face we have to conceal them we want to bring brightness into this area. So I do a little fan there and then... So now we're going to go ahead and use the same beauty blender but we're going to use the um, flat side and we're going to just blend. That's what we're going to be doing. Blending everything. Making sure that everything is well blended. Make sure that you stay where the concealer is. Do not drag it down because you're making no point. We're about to contour here. So make sure you stay above the apples of your cheek. You see how it hides my dark circles and at the same time it's kind of highlighting that place. So if you feel like it's too much, you can always turn the beauty blender to the fat part where the foundation was and you can start dabbing to kind of blend that and make sure that it's not a lot. See what I mean? It's just a combination. Okay, so after we did the concealer, we are going to bake our face. Yes, bake your face, guys. You want a full coverage foundation? Everything lasts since all day? Let's bake. Bake helps you set that foundation to the point where it's just like, oh my God, I can't move. Think of it wet, you apply powder, kind of sets it, you know, that's what I think. So the one that I've been using that has helped me like brighten out my under eyes a lot um, it's the Derma Blend Loose Setting Powder in Original. So they do have the Derma Blend. Um, they do have this one in colors, like for skin type, like skin colors. So they have like a lighter one or whatever. So if you're a darker skin, like a darker, deep, deep tone, I never ever I recommend using a light powder like this. I highly recommend you using the banana shade, that yellowish shade. It's gonna be amazing for your baking <laughs> i like to do is i like to take the same damp beauty blender because we're gonna try to adhere the powder because we want it to set into our skin so before i do that guys honestly this is just a little tip that i do because i want to make sure that everything stays there i like to apply a little bit of the um setting spray before i do this um step so i'm just kind of setting that foundation with the concealer onto my skin now we move on to baking and then we're going to tap the place that we applied the concealer tap because we want to make sure that the powder again adheres to our skin Okay, so while I'm baking my face, as you can see, I'm going to set the rest of my face with powder. So I'm going to be using the CoverGirl um, Vitalist Healthy Powder. It's this one that looks like this. I love it. So I'm going to be using this powder to set pretty much everywhere else that I did not do the baking. So I'm going to just do this here. Not touching the baking area, but trying to set that area right here. Of the foundation, I'm, dab I'm dabbing it, guys. Dab. Always dab. Very important to dab because we want the skin to adhere everything. So dab. 
We're still gonna leave the baking pot the baking powder on our on our face. We're gonna move on to bronzer or contouring. To be honest, I don't I don't like calling it contour because I don't do the whole deep cut contour. I like to just bronze up my skin. So use a bronzer. I love using the Pixie Beauty bronzer. I think this bronzer right in the corner kind of has my good my undertone perfectly. You can use any bronzer you like. So I'm gonna take a small round brush just like this one. And I'm going to pack on the bronzer and I'm going to apply it. I'm going to start on that hollow part of my cheek right here. And then I'm going to work my way up because I want like a bronzy color. Always start with light strokes. Start in the hairline, work your way down, grab your brush by the end. So you get light strokes. I have a heavy hand, so I have to do that. Come till that, pretty much where the apples of your cheeks are. Okay, so while I do that, I this is a totally extra step if you wanna take, if you really wanna carve it out. Like some of you have asked me, oh my God, your contour looks amazing. And I'm not even contouring, I just did a little bronzer. You're gonna grab the same thing you did, you're gonna bake, and you're going to start on the hollow part of your face, and you're gonna bring it down. So what I'm gonna do is, I just let this sit in for at least five minutes and what I do is when I have my face like this I go ahead and jump onto my eyes so that's what I normally normally do I'm not gonna do my eyes on this video because this is gonna be a totally different video um actually I should do my eyes I'm gonna move on to the lips guys honestly but this is all that I do when it comes to my foundation routine um pretty much full face full coverage this is what I do what I like to do is guys honestly always always finish your look using a setting spray this setting spray right here is literally no joke i love this setting spray it's a little expensive but a little bit goes a long way and it's amazing it helps you set your freaking makeup like there's no tomorrow guys especially florida heat if you live in california texas this places where a lot of humidity and a lot of um heat you have to set your makeup so a little bit like just a couple of inches away from your face Just think of it when you're applying hairspray to your hair and you're set trying to get your hair to stay. Think of it as this for that. Using a setting spray is also going to help you set your foundation. So guys, honestly speaking, this is all I do when it comes to foundation. Um, this is my full face, full coverage, last all day foundation routine and i really hope you enjoyed the video i really hope you liked it i really hope you learned something and um if you're a beginner like i said you can definitely definitely achieve a full face like just like i did it's not hard it's just there are steps you have to take and you have to take that time to achieve remember this is a full coverage meaning it's going to take you a, a little bit of time it's not an everyday like light let's do errands i only have 10 minutes it's not going to work um, but if you want like a full coverage, let me beat my face, let it stay there all day, then this is my steps, this is what I recommend you guys doing. If you guys have any other questions, I will definitely be filming more one-on-one -on -one videos for you guys. Um, maybe eyebrows, maybe lashes, all that, I will definitely be doing that. A lot of people have asked me to go back to basics. Um, it's, YouTube has become very very artistic and it's very hard to recreate looks nowadays so a lot of people have asked me to take it back to basics 101 so that's what i'm gonna be doing for you guys so if you liked the video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and if you subscribe to my channel then great if you haven't make sure you hit that subscribe button thank you guys so much for your love thank you guys for your support thank you so much for sticking till the end muchos besos i'll see you ladies on my following videos adios